Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the third, but you know the timing is fluid, right? I know I have to keep saying that because a lot of people don't get it. But anyhow, tonight we're going to do a live on Empress TV. It's my other channel. You'll find a link to that on my uh, home YouTube page. If you go there, it will say over on the right, it will say my other channel, Empress TV. Go ahead and click that if you want to watch the live. It's usually between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We are going to be talking about a few different things. The last time I did one was about a little over a week ago. And we talked about the devil card. Um, and so th during this one, we're going to talk about one card. I know what card, but I'm not going to tell you until tonight. So we're going to discuss that card and the meanings and how it affects our lives. Um, and then we talk about comments. So I talk about, I've, I've saved a couple of people's comments. I'm going to, I'm going to go over those comments. It can be pretty comical. I usually have a drink. Last time I got a little bit, uh, I drink a little bit too much. This time I'm not planning to do that. I haven't drank since then um, because, you know, the hangover was bad. So uh, this time, I mean, and I have not drank since then. So I'm going to have wine tonight. I don't typically typically get a hangover from wine. So anyway, uh, we're going to have that to talk tonight over on Empress TV. Um, and then we talk about whatever comes up. It's usually between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to go over and hit that link and you can... You'll be able to see the live tonight. They're usually a lot of fun. Anyhow, what do we have for around the third? Around. Remember, the timing is fluid. What do we have? Fortune. So this is the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a very fortunate situation that is unfolding. This is good luck is on its way. This is destined. This is a new cycle that is beginning. This is a positive change that is coming. It's very positive being at the right place at the right time. This is something that happens, you know, and changes your life in a very positive manner. So this is fantastic. This is a very fortunate change that is happening. It's a major one, too. Um, this is a major arcana, so it's universal. There's free will here. Don't resist it. There's a need to let this change happen. It's happening for a reason. It's very fortunate. This is going to bring you in something better. But you have to... I mean, that this is a cycle that is ending, and a new cycle is beginning. You have to allow this change. So... Uh, try to do that. Try to allow this change. There is something very positive that is changing in your life. But some people tend to stick their foot in the wheel, you know, and stop the change from happening. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let it happen. It's meant to happen. It's destined to happen. But, you know, if you talk about the Wheel of Fortune reverse, that is people that resist change and they repeat the same cycle over and over and over again. Is that what you want? Do you want to keep repeating that cycle? So my this card is saying, allow the change, accept the change. This is an opportunity. It's a very fortunate opportunity to bring something positive into your life. So the universe, this is a universe card. It's a major arcana. is brought in you this change for a reason. Accept it. Allow it. It's, it's positive. Three of cups reversed. So, uh, somebody may have some enemies. You know, it's hard to not socialize, isn't it? There, there's, there's socializing problems, right? Can't socialize with anybody, lack of, of the ability to socialize. But maybe it's really fortunate. Maybe you don't see. Maybe, maybe, they, maybe the universe took these people out of your life because they aren't really your friends. Or they don't really support you. You know, everything happens for a reason. It does. So, you know, this is a very, it's a, it's a very fortunate change. Perhaps you weren't seeing that, you know, these are people that are, are, are enemies disguised as friends. This party is over. These people were competing. They're very competitive. This is a termination. This is parting ways, parting ways with people that don't support you realizing it for for real these people don't support you they're not your friends it could be family members whoever it is these people gossip they talk behind your back
Seven of Cups. There's uh, there's so many other options. And there's a level of confusion here, you know. There is. Oh dear, what should I choose? Where do I go? What is the best option for me? The universe, okay, the first card, has brought in you other options. Beware of false beginnings and make sure you choose wisely this time. So we have somebody here that has an opportunity because this is an opportunity for uh, a new chapter, a new cycle. But this new cycle includes letting go of people that don't support you. And choosing a better option, choosing something else. So there is there is another option here that is being, there's many options that are being presented. We have this person that is confused. You know, now they got all these options. It's like, where do I go next? What am I going to do now? So yeah, so you, so, so we have a, we have this change that has happened and now you got to, you got to choose another option, right? You have to, it's, it's basically, you know, it meant to happen this way. So you got to choose another option. Queen of Wands reversed. We've had her a lot lately, haven't we? In the last three readings. So it's very prominent energy. Um, the Queen of Wands in reverse doesn't like change. She doesn't. She's she's forceful. She tries to like to be in control. Lack of self confidence, lack of self esteem, self doubt. No ambition, no drive. So we got somebody here that needs a poor health, that needs to find their ambition, needs to pick themselves up. It's like the Queen of Wands in reversed is uh, lacking strength, no strength, no desire. So we have somebody here that doesn't have any desire to change. Oh boy. Well, that's going to be struggle, isn't it? That is a serious struggle. Now, somebody's dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, and I'm not sure if this party, I mean, this is the party is over. Losing friends. Because, this, I mean, the Queen of Wands is self-righteous, entitled. Gossip. Oh my God, we have a gossip here. Somebody that is probably losing friends because they gossip. I don't know. It feels like, I mean, this is gossip. Now she could be the one that is losing friends because her friends gossip. Whatever, we have some gossips here. You know, <laughs> now it's like, oh, I'm not sure if I even want to deal with you anymore. I mean, the Queen of Wands in reverse is a malicious gossip. And this is gossip. So we definitely have somebody here. And this is malicious. Did you catch the word? Does it maliciously. This is a liar. Very controlling. This person has a self-image problem. So they, you know, to get attention, even called negative attention, they say things as long as they're getting to get attention. So there is somebody here that is getting attention in the wrong way by saying things that they shouldn't be saying. And I think it's coming back around. Now, this is a card of karma. Real fortune is. It's karma and destiny. Now, this is choosing other options. We have somebody here that is choosing to end something, because this is a 10 as a completion, end something with a person that is very controlling, very manipulative, lies, gossips, doesn't tell the truth, um, has no desire to change, Doesn't very self-righteous, doesn't think they have to change, doesn't think they're doing anything wrong. Eight of Swords. So this is trapped in their mind. Mentally trapped. We have somebody here that is trapped in, in a state of... This is mental turmoil. Confined. Stuck. Refusing to step outside of their comfort zone. All tied up. But can... can You know, stuck. 
but not really stuck, can change, can go someplace else, can do something different. His feet isn't tied. There's an open space where he can get out of this, but choosing not to. So we have somebody here that is choosing to stay, you know, in their old life. Choosing to stay where they've been. Because it's safe. It's what they know. I'm not changing a damn thing. I'm not changing a damn thing. I'm perfect the way I am. You know, that's a great way to think, right? That's positive thinking. But we evolve. You think about the temperance card, which happens to be what? Ruled by Sagittarius. I mean, that's what it says, right? We got uh, the Queen of Wands, is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be because we all take on these energies. So you think about and the temperance is about evolving. We evolve, but I refuse to evolve. I'm not going to evolve. I'm not going to change. Okay. All right. We evolve over time. Accepting that we evolve over time is very positive. Okay, this is positive change. They have brought in somebody an opportunity for positive change, but we got resistance. This is resistance. Resisting this positive change. Nope. Not doing it. I don't have to. I, don't, I already know it all. I just know it all right here. Meanwhile, the universe has brought in other options and they're making somebody think, is this, is this even what I want? Do I even want to deal with this person? Do I even want to deal with this know-it-all, with this person that is malicious, that can't keep their mouth shut? Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Those, so this is, this is forward fast. Something happening fast. Something changing really fast. This is a shock. Somebody may, may be... De uh, this is a shock coming in. A shocking entrance. So something is coming in very, very fast. It is going to be a shock. This guy is on a mission. He is on a mission. This person is coming in very fast. He's got some sort of information. He's got some sort of, uh, well, the sword in his hand. That's information. He's on a mission, and there's nobody that can stop him. You know, it makes me wonder if somebody is going to be, you know, this is like a prison. It could be a mental prison, but it could also be a prison. So I'm wondering what is going on. If somebody, you know, this could be a police officer. You notice this guy's got on armor. Somebody is coming in. This is, could be a protector of some sort. There could be somebody that is coming in that maybe they weren't seeing something clearly and now they are. I know I'm changing the story, but this is like, I'm not sure if somebody could be put in handcuffs. This person has been lying. And this, is a, this could be a male or a female. We have a liar here. The Queen of Wands in reverse. We look up that card. Feel free. I don't need to. I already know. This is a liar. This is somebody who lies for their own benefit. To get attention. Even negative attention. So we got somebody here that, you know... <laughs> I don't know, it has something to do about a third party situation. There could be a third party situation here. I'm not letting go. So this person is not letting go. Choosing to stay in it. Here comes somebody. This person comes rushing in. They have some information, some sort of facts or some sort of truth. King of Swords reversed. Oh my God. There's been some sort of abuse. And, and that is abuse. There's been a bully, mental abuse, um, confinement. Somebody may have been restricted or confined by another person. You know, this person wasn't telling the truth for sure. We have a, definitely have a liar here. It could be a couple. It could be a couple of people here. A couple. A married couple. Uh, partners of some sort or something like that. But somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They've been bullying. There could be some abuse. Um, 
somebody was definitely lying and they have no conscience. They have no conscience at all. And they were able to, this is a level of confusion. They were able to confuse. They were able to uh, cause illusion or confusion. They were with their lies. Interesting. Very interesting. And people were not able to see. Oh my God. Somebody may be, um, I don't know. It feels like either somebody could get arrested. I don't know. It feels like they could. It feels like this. It, it means somebody could end up getting arrested right here. Um, anyhow, the King of Swords in reversed is uh, abusive, hard, cold, uncaring. Somebody that doesn't care. Just doesn't care. Totally selfish. A very selfish individual here. Or a couple. Two people. These people are selfish. Or it's one person that is that taking on both of these energies. We have this person is very selfish, very self centered, self righteous. It's all about me. Doesn't care who they hurt at all. But this is somebody coming in that has some sort of information. Somebody that is in protection because of the, all the armor and he's on a mission. He's in protection. So there's somebody that is in protection that is coming in. A protector. A protector is coming in. Somebody that is going to protect. So a protector is coming in. They're going to see right through the situation. Or they have seen right through the situation. They may see that somebody has been abused. And maybe it's this queen of wands in reverse. I don't know. Somebody has been abused. It's abuse. And maybe it's even confined. I mean tied up. Whatever. I'm not sure what is going on. Trapped in a situation. Even if they're trapped in their head, trapped in their mind, trapped in their thoughts, and they have a blindfold on wearing a mask. Somebody's been wearing a mask, confusing people with their lies. And I think the other people that were being confused were wearing the mask. We're talking about the fucking masks. <laughs> Get me going on that one. Well, maybe tonight. Maybe we'll talk about the mass tonight, but I'm sure that will be a very big controversy. Um, oh my God. Confusing people. Imagine that shit. Very self-centered, doesn't care, and it's about society, the three of cups, so there's, oh my God. Yeah. Interesting. There's some information that is coming out about the confusion that has been caused. Interesting. Interesting. The hangman reversed. Oh my God. So this is the hangman reversed is refusing to go in. Struggling to let go. Obsessed. Obsessed with control. We have somebody here that is absolutely positively obsessed with control. Who is it? Ha! Ha! I think we know who it is. I think it's a couple of people. <laughs> well, how many governors have we got? Uh, anyway, sorry that slipped. Anyhow, um, we got people that are obsessed with control. 100%. And then the hey man reverse is not learning lessons. Now, this is, you know, somebody hasn't learned any lessons. Now, this is have no fear. So this is being fearless. So we have a warrior here that has no fear. This person's on a mission. They don't have any fear. The Knight of Swords doesn't have any fear. No fear. Have no fear. Have no fear. This person's hiding something. The, 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 uh, and the hangman reversed is hiding something. Won't change, won't change, won't go in, will not, will not accept change. In the upright, the hangman is going through a change. Becoming enlightened. I'm not changing a goddamn thing. So this is somebody who will not change a goddamn thing. I'm not changing my mind. I'm not changing, I'm not changing, I'm not changing. Highly 
egotistical. So we have a highly egotistical person here who is clinging con to control. They love the power. They love the control. And they have instilled fear. Very selfish. Anyhow, the Wheel of Fortune. There's a change that is coming. The wheel is spinning, which is changes, changing this whole situation. What well, has it has changed? But this person, these people are refusing to change. Refu or this person, or whatever, are clinging to control. You know, using this to their benefit. The hermit. The Hermit Reverse. This is coming out of isolation. It is. The Hermit Reverse is coming out of isolation. There's been a lot of loneliness. It's been like a place of exile. Been restricted. It's time to socialize. It is time to socialize. So get prepared for a change. It's almost like going against the crowd and not trying to advocate for that. Now, this is fearful. The Queen of Wands in reverse is, is full of fear. She is. You think about the strength reversed. Fear. Let go of that fear. It is time to socialize and come out of hiding. That's my message. Good luck.